is it's kind of like putting it into vertex form. Remember when we took these and did vertex form? Okay, but it's going to be different. So what I want to do is I want to get the x squared plus 4x by itself. So then I'm going to have this plus blank. So in order to do that, I need to get rid of this negative 8. How can I get rid of the negative 8? Add 8 to both sides. Good call. So I'm going to add 8 to both sides. But if I add this number to the left side, I have to add that same number to the right side. So now what that does is it tells me I have my parenthesis squared. So what goes inside that parenthesis? Stefan? It was minus 8, but in order to get rid of it, I added 8. And that gave me the blank, is when I added the 8. But if I add 8 to this side, I have to add 8 to 0 also, to the other side. So 0 plus 8 became 8. Yeah, I know, but for the other one, when you added the blank, wouldn't it? Is that minus plus Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That was back in the day when we were do, um, doing it in um, vertex form. So what we did back then is we had y equals x squared plus 4x plus blank, and it would stay minus 8 minus blank, right? So what happened here is we did everything on one side of the equal sign. All right? So I just moved the negative 8 over, squoze in this plus here, and then I had to turn around and subtract it to keep it balanced. That was when we were doing vertex form. Okay, I was doing everything on one side of the equal sign. Now in completing the square, I'm going to put do work on both sides of the equation. Because this time, it started off as equal to 0. Here it started off equal to y. So when it's equal to zero, now I'm going to work on both sides. So instead of just sliding that over and putting a blank in it, now I move it over to the other side of the equal sign. So now, yeah, here, I, if I added the number, I had to turn around and subtract it because we were on the same side of the equal sign. Now to keep it balanced, if I add it to one side, I have to add the same number to the other side to keep it balanced. It's all about keeping it balanced. Are you okay with that? Very good connection. Good thought. So there is a big difference because now we are working on two different sides. Okay, so now what goes in the parentheses? This part's the same. X plus what? Plus 2. It's half of that middle number, right? Take that number there, divide it by 2. So since it's positive 4, Half of positive 4 is positive 2, plus 2. If it was a minus 4, x, then half of negative 4 would have been negative 2. All right? Now, what goes here in this blank? 4. All I do is take this number here and square it. So 2 squared, 4. But if I add 4 to that side, I have to add 4 to this side. Keep it balanced. That equals 12. 8 plus 4 is 12. Now I want to solve this. So how do I solve it? How do I get rid of that squared? I'm going to take the square root. And when I take the square root, it's going to cancel out that squared, right? But if I do that to the one side, I have to do it to the other. And when I do that to the other side, I have to go plus and minus. the 12 will come out as an irrational number. I would want it to, but it's not going to be. Remember our last problem we did? This is that same problem we just did where we ended up with an irrational number by um, quadratic formula. We're going to get the same answer. Okay. So now I have x plus 2 equals positive and negative well, square root of 12 is 4 times 3, right? So the square root of 4 would be 2, 
and the square root of 3 would still be the square root of 3. Now what do I do to get x by itself? Subtract 2. Subtract 2 from both sides. And so now I end up with x equals negative 2 plus and minus 2 root 3. You think it's easier that way? Yeah. Really? Yeah. All right, then do it that way. <laughs>